please subscribe to our channel. Reptile is a thriller movie directed by Grant Singer and written by Singer and Benjamin Brewer. The film stars Benicio Del Toro, Justin Timberlake, and Alicia Silverstone. This film has all the elements to hook you, great performances, a compelling story, a solid script, technical proficiency, impressive production, and an unsolved murder case. Let's break down the reptile ending. Reptile is about detective Tom Nichols, who is investigating the death of a realtor, Summer Ellswick. There are numerous suspects, from the realtor's boyfriend Will to her ex-husband Sam and a suspicious third party, Eli. There isn't a lot to go off of in the case, as Summer was killed in a house she was showing with no cameras, witnesses did not get a clear look at anyone who came into the house and they are having trouble tracking down a car that was at the scene they think could belong to the killer. Reptile starts with Will and Summer cleaning the property as they've got to show it to the potential buyers. As Will tries to hug the lady, she resists. All is not well with the couple as they don't share beds and talk very rarely. The next day, something shocking happens. Summer finds a snake-skin shed in the corner of the home and a few minutes after that, she is killed. Will wasn't able to reach her, and he was the one who discovered her body. The officers including Tom and Alan come to the crime scene and pick up what evidence they could find. The forensic examination result came, and it will be shocking for the audience to learn that Summer had semen in her vagina. We saw her sleeping in a separate room from Will then. Is this pointing towards a possible case of rape? But then the forensic expert says that there were no signs of forced assault. Things get complex as more shreds of evidence come into the limelight. Tom's investigation focuses on the three main suspects of Will, Sam and Eli, with he and his team having different opinions on who is the most likely. However, DNA evidence comes back and points to Sam. When they go to arrest Sam, he says his DNA was there because he and Summer were still sleeping together, but that doesn't stop him from being arrested. Sam panics, grabs Tom's partner's gun and tries to escape. Tom fires at the fleeing Sam and later finds that he shot him in the back, killing Sam. Just about everyone is satisfied with the result and Tom is being put up for a medal for it. But Tom still has doubts. Tom notices that some of the marks on Summer's body look like bite marks, possibly from when they would have slept together. However, the results are inconclusive. Eli is convinced Will and his mother Camille are behind the killing. He has a grudge against the family because they forced his father to sell his farm, but also potential evidence to back up his claim. After breaking into Will's office, he gives Tom a thumb drive that has official documents of sales that Summer did. One of the houses she sold was where one of Tom's co-workers, Wally, hosted a party, but it is now on the market. Interestingly, it was purchased by a mysterious company called Whitefish Assets, which is referenced with numerous sales that Summer did. Doing some more digging, Tom finds out that the house was previously the site of a drug bust. Also, when he gets the P.O. box for Whitefish Assets, he learns that there is another company that shares it, Active Duty Consulting, which is the private security company that Wally runs on the side. When he discovers the drugs that were discovered at Sam's house were then planted on a man named Rudy with a connection to Will for another crime, identified by Christmas wrapping paper used to cover up a hole, his suspicion that Wally is involved with the murder is all but confirmed. Tom is able to get the list of phone numbers that Rudy called the day that Summer died, which includes one that he called 17 times. Tom calls it and we see that the phone number belongs to Will. Will doesn't answer because at the same time he threatens Eli along with another unseen individual, presumably Wally. When Tom and Judy go to a party for Judy's uncle and Tom's boss Alan, Tom is uneasy about it because he knows he'll have to bump into Wally. At one point he goes into the garage to get a beer. Tom finds a car covered by a sheet, which is odd. He removes to find out it is the car involved in the case they have been looking for, though redone with a paint job. Robert tells Tom he is storing it for a friend, but Tom isn't buying it. Robert tells him to let it go. Tom tells Judy what is going on, that Alan, Wally, and Will work together to kill Summer because she was going to reveal what was going on with their scheme of planting drugs on houses, 
buying them at a discount and making a profit. He has to make a decision to stay quiet, something he previously had done in his career to aid a partner or to reveal everything and risk his life and career. He chooses the latter, telling what he knows to Chief Greber. The next day, Tom and Greber go and talk with Alan. When Greber goes to use the restroom, Alan tells Tom that Greber is dirty too and he should leave to save himself. Alan is resigned that it is all over and goes upstairs, where Wally is waiting and shoots him. Tom doesn't leave, first killing Graber and then shooting and paralyzing Wally. He calls the police to have him arrested. Later, Will is also arrested for the murder of Summer. So, long story short, Timberlake's character Will killed Summer, but it was part of a wider scandal that involved Wally, Alan and other members of Tom's police squad. So that's Reptile Ending Explained. I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment and subscribe to this channel. See you in another video. Bye.